Hello guys and welcome back. So let's go ahead and set up our color. Uh, so let me grab a transformation 2D to get a copy of the colors. And then, uh, sorry, the, the head map. Uh, we can use this to uh, pep through a gradient uh, map here. And then we can go to the gradient color and we can start clicking here to add new pins. And I don't really need one there, so delete that. For the base, it's gonna be black, I like that. Uh, let me also connect that to the final base color so we can see what we're getting. All right, so again, it's gonna be black on the bottom. And then when it's getting a little bit higher, we're gonna change that to a bluish color. So something like, uh, yeah, like that. Okay, and then keep on going to the middle. It's gonna be more like a, uh, saturated kind of like I don't know a little bit more um, uh, green kind of like bluish color something like that and we reach it to the very top it's gonna be something more like a yellow yellowish color and it's more uh, grayish okay now we don't want to make the color to be not much more bright in my opinion I think it should be just a different color Okay, something like that. Let's saturate it. Okay, and for the color in the middle, maybe it can be that much more different. I mean, a little bit more different. And maybe the base one can be more uh, darker and grayish blue. Okay, and it's gonna be really black here on the edge. Okay, so something like this, and then we can try to break it up a little bit more because it's, it looks a little bit too generic. We can, we can feel like this really clean kind of like a result. So maybe I can do something before I use it. Uh, so I'm gonna go create a warp. And we're gonna warp it with uh, pearly noise. And then, of course, not that much of a warp, and then not that much of a frequency either. So that way, a little bit of a warp is going to make it maybe a bit more. Yeah, uh, that's a little bit too much of an intensity. Yeah. So we're going we're gonna to use that to break it up so it's not like completely the same. But I wanted to also have some matching results. So I'm gonna go try to do another blend here and that's gonna be the bottom, that's gonna be the top and that result goes to the output. And here we can do like a, just a blend. I just lower that down. Okay. And then for this one, maybe I can uh, give it a little bit more blur, high quality grayscale. <laughs> So just trying to figure out a way to not making it like completely the same as uh, the actual variation of the height map. Uh, so to, to introduce some variant. Before it was like this, right? And then I use that to kind of like blur them a little bit. Okay. And then also maybe I can have a HSL in the middle and that HSL will be uh, something like uh, maybe a different hue, more like orange-ish. And then saturation can go down, of course. Yeah, maybe a bit darker. All right, and I'm gonna do a blend to blend those two together. And that's gonna be the back, and that's gonna be the foreground. Okay, and then I can try to use the, the poly noise one more time. Double click to. Oh, actually, I cannot. There's Control Alt Alt Shift to add this rerot, which is 
the worst rerot node I ever seen. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so just to add some more recap here, uh, I think uh, it's a little bit too blurry in this case. I'm gonna go create a uh, curve node so that this curve node will take care of the contrast. So we're introducing some smaller spot of, you know, variation. All right, uh, let's see the actual color we're getting. Um, yeah. So one more thing we could do is uh, for the for the result of this curve, we can do a uh, warp node to warp it by this guy. So that, maybe just a little bit. So that that warp will introduce some like break up to this pearly noise so that its variation is somewhat um, follows uh, the slope or the variation or the changes uh, the original shape is having. So that way the break up feels like it's more suited to the actual uh, shape. And I can go try to uh, look for the HSL and lower down the lightness. Okay. All right. Uh, maybe it, maybe I can make the warp to do a bit more, but afterwards I do a blur. High quality grayscale. And just blur it a little bit. Yeah, that's better. So now that way we have this breakup that's not only using the pearly noise, but also following the variation the original shape is having. Okay, so that way those breakup will not be something that, that's happening too sudden. All right, and one more thing I want to do is, um, let me see. I think, I think we're having the black to happen too early here. So here in the gradient map, I can tighten that up by dragging uh, the pin here over to the edge. So that only the very low ground is gonna be black. And also, I don't really care about the roughness thing so i'm gonna grab the roughness and crack that up all the way to one so that so that i can focus on the color because i don't think there's a variation that i wanted to have on the roughness anyways okay and i can define the actual roughness later on uh i wanted to have another visible gradient that, that is kind of like making the outside and the inside to have a gradient the outside will be having some slightly darker color, although it's already having that. Okay. Um, but anyway, um, so let me try to do that. Uh, I can create a uh, color correction again. So HSL in the middle here. Okay. And this one will be slightly darker. Maybe a bit more saturated. And then it's gonna be more bluish. Okay. And then I can do a blend to blend this guy on top. And the blending will be governed by a gradient map. So radio gradient and that goes to here. All right. So that way we can say, okay, I want I want the flipped result actually. So I can grab those two and hit X to swap. And then here I can just use this to define where do I want it to have the darker color and where do I want to have the brighter color. To have some, oh, that's actually not very good. <laughs> yeah, so that way it's, it's having this nice fall off from the edge to the center. All the things I'm trying to do here is just trying to make this guy feels like it's, it has more variation. Okay. Um, so here back to our gradient, I can maybe introduce a little bit more. Maybe here I can add uh, a color that is slightly more green. Maybe more, mm, I don't know. It 
don't feel like that's better actually so maybe not maybe just slightly more green color okay uh, what else can I do so this is our warp node um, as you can see we do have some brighter and darker colors so I'm gonna do a histogram scan here make sure that goes to there so for this one I'm gonna go drag the position up at some point and contrast to be something a bit higher So again, this is gonna be another mask we can use to help break up the color a bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna use this guy as a mask and then I'm gonna do like another blend and blend this color with a correct, a, a, a tweaked color here using that mask. And let's see what I'm tweaking here. Maybe I can make it uh, a bit uh, darker. Uh, that doesn't feel right. The mask here, maybe it's having too much of a, a volume here, so I'm trying to make that smaller. Let's see, we have this brighter color in the middle that's going to be governed uh, by this mask and maybe a bit more saturated. Yeah, you can see now this middle part is having this really just that much of a smaller variation here in the middle to make it looks like, okay, this one has a, a lot of interesting thing happening. Okay, that's what I'm trying to, to achieve. All right, I think that's good. So let's move on to the next video and we can talk about how we actually utilize what we're having here uh, in the game engine. Okay, see you next time.